The thing that I'm most excited about in Homefront is this unique core fantasy. The idea that, you know, we're exploring the civilian side and the human side. The main gameplay goal behind the single player portion of our game was to put the player in the shoes of a resistance soldier fighting for his country. Everything that we did comes out of that. How your weapons work, how you relate to the world, the kind of missions that you go on, it all comes from that. You know, in a lot of shooters, you have the best equipment and great number of allies and an army behind you. In this case, you're civilians turned freedom fighters, and you have to fight against this greater force that has better equipment than you do. And it's really a sort of get in, get out situation. It's an interesting place for us to be on this one because everybody's expectations is military shooter, military shooter. We want guys who are professional, but you know, guys who are really professional in war, like robots. Uh, and for us, they're not professional military people, they're resistance fighters, they're all civilians. When it comes down to realizing this, this world, this fallen America, this occupied America in the game, we really wanted to establish some key moments or key shots where you come out of an opening and you see this big, huge, expansive environment revealed before you. You see this, this enormous vista of this plane that crashed when the EMP went off. It's kind of like this moment where you're like, this is really something different. It's really spectacular. We really want people to feel like this looks like a place that I grew up in, and then twist it, and now it looks abandoned, now it looks collapsed. The second thing, which I think has been a huge win for us overall, is going after real world brands. We really want to get these brands in here because they're part of the fabric of American life. So one of the places that the Koreans use as a supply depot was a classic big box store. And they sort of move in and they use the big space to store all their military stuff. And it's one of our big set pieces where the military goes on uh, a raid mission to steal a bunch of fuel. Consequence of violence is something that, that we're focusing on in the game. You know, war is not a pretty thing and there's not always lots of positive events that come out of it. It's actually very dark and tragic and we want to show that element in Homefront, which you don't really get in a lot of shooters. Jake, just put them out of there, Missouri. In average FPS, you'll blow through 30 to 100 guys every 15 to 20 minutes or so. And you sort of get this, um, this what we call massacre fatigue. When you, you stop even caring, you don't even realize that you're, you're killing humans. But what we're trying to do is really attach emotion to that, that it actually, uh, there are consequences to violence. Please form a single file and have your papers ready for inspection. How am I supposed to make the player feel or care about the fact that they're killing when that's the whole goal of the game? But that's really the fundamental crux of what we're trying to achieve. Your character in the game, his name is Robert Jacobs. He's a former pilot. He's recruited by the resistance because they need a helicopter pilot. So Boone is a former police officer. He's the leader of the current resistance cell and sort of the father figure of the whole unit. He's less about killing the Koreans and more about what can I do to free my people. Connor is really the, the key combat figure of the group. He's, he's a little on the wild side. He's not conventional, but he's really a valuable man to have in a fight. And Rihanna is born and raised in upstate New York. She was kind of the hunter in the wilderness, and she just felt the call to, to join the resistance and do whatever she could about it. The final character is Hopper. What makes him really interesting is he's a Korean-American, and he has scars on his face from race riots that happened in the early parts of the war. The supporting cast is kind of interesting because you run across all these civilians who have totally different approaches. Some will work with you, some will support you, others might betray you or sell you out. And we create all these kind of neat moments around all these supporting characters. You're a guy who is caught up in this crazy scenario, fighting alongside other people who have no real training. So, you know, you make mistakes. You know, people get shot, people get hurt. People die alongside you. Fighting the civilian with civilian in, in an occupied America, that's really the core of what Homefront's all about, and that's really what we're set to deliver on.